And so we're here on the Oregon side. This is where the fish ladder passes through on Bradford Island. Salmon are important to us. They play an important part in the economy here and, and the culture of the Northwest, both for us and the Native Americans who are here before us. And so when Bonneville Dam was built, um, uh, the, the engineers at the time, they, they knew this. And, and so they, uh, they realized they had to have some way for these adults to get past the dam. So they built fish ladders like this one you see here. And the majority of these salmon, when they're migrating downstream, these young salmon are co coming or being flushed down through the spillway. So uh, we're trying to get these salmon out as, to the estuary as fast as we can. And here we go. So yeah, it's, so they, these turbines are not blenders, you know. So downstairs we have a fish counting window. We have one over in the, the Washington side also. And so th this is what it's like to be a fish counter. Let's see. Oh, one. Okay. Oh, no, two, three. Uh, did, did you know what they were? Uh, let's, let's look at that again. There's one. Looked like an adult and maybe a couple of jacks. So that's what that fish counter down there is looking at. She's using these pieces of yarn on her window to determine, to determine whether that fish is an adult. Oh, then, then <laughs> now you, you know, you never know. For a while there, it was sea lions running by. So I know you want to go down there and see what's coming up the ladder too. So we should do that. They're also keeping track of um, ha wild and hatchery steelheads. So when those steelheads swim by, they're taking a look uh, for whether they have that little adipose fin on them or not. They're also looking for little oddities too. Uh, gill net marks are pretty commonly uh, seen, probably not in the last couple of years, but if you see a fish swim by with a, a stripe, just a real narrow line running from around its dorsal fin all the way around its body, that's typical of a, um, of a, a gill net. This is where the salmon are climbing up past the ladder. They swim up 60 feet at a time, one foot at a time. Now once they get up to this level, then you see the fence running diagonally across the ladder. That crowds them into that little narrow opening where the counter sits. And so they're zigzagging around and continuing up through that, what looks like a maze. We call that the flow control area. So as that water flows behind every one of those weirs coming out, it creates an eddy, so we're giving the fish a place to rest. As they're staff, they've made the big 60-foot climb. Now we put them into this flow control area where they can take a little breather okay. before they head back out into the river. Statistic-wise, uh, when we see the salmon running past the, the windows, uh, we're looking at 80% uh, hatchery fish and then the 20% wild. So there, there are a lot fewer wild fish running up this system than uh, there have been in the past. Yeah, they, they just stop salmon fishing, you know, commercial fishing was, was, was cut dead. Uh, that was it. And I know they do it more selectively here in the Columbia, but uh, yeah, those guys are really under the gun now to, yeah, not uh, try, try to minimize its impact on the wild salmon. And, and, uh, and of course, everybody complains about it. You know, we want to just keep, keep using and using and yeah, we're going to use everything up if, if, if we aren't careful. So you guys collect the data. Who then processes the data? Uh, in the case of the salmon, the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service or the, is the agency that, uh, yeah, working with the uh, Endangered Species Act, and uh, they're, they're the ones that are uh, coming up with um, what we need to do. But they're working in, in partnership with the tribes, which have a, a key interest in this, and the states, Oregon and Washington and Idaho. Yeah, the, these salmon run back to all these areas, and so we have a lot of different agencies involved with, uh, with looking at these things. And the Corps of Engineers are we're basically in the middle of it all, and, and we respond how, however we can to help re reduce our impact on those runs. So there are a lot of people involved, and it'd be interesting to sit at that table whenever they have their, their <laughs> weekly meeting or whatever it is, because you know nobody's going to leave happy. Yeah, right. it, yeah, it's, a, it's a compromise yeah. all the way through. Salmon are important to us. Uh, they play an important part in the economy here and, and the culture of the Northwest, both for us and the Native Americans who are here before us.